Man, I'm hella late on the trailer. Bandai Namco. Mikula the kind spoke of the beginning. The seduction and the betrayal. Was that hair? And that looked like hair, bruh. Or the betrayal. Goop. Okay, there she is. An affair from She's got in her hand. So it was hair. And so too was Shadow born. What followed was a war unseen. Oh, shit. I think you gotta fight one of those two. This was in the trailer. This is in the trailer right here. That makes sense that this is like a boss that you have to fight or like an area boss. Everything's on fire. So if we get here, my, if this area is somewhere that we could go, it's probably going to be ruins. Because <clears throat> how else are we going to fight one of these? It wouldn't just be wandering around in an area that you can't go to. So this is probably all burnt down. One that could never be put to song. That's like a Margit, ain't it? Yeah. Um, fuck. what's his name? Her brother, right? I forgot his name. I forgot his name already. The tyranny of Mesmus flame. This is like a black knife tiche. Might be. Or another boss. Oh, yeah, that's another boss. That's a boss right there. Remember that dude. Mesmer, that's his name. That's his name. It was Mesmer, wasn't it? I'm a, I'm gonna be real mad if it's like Michael, and then I just said some fuck. I just said Mesmer, and I'm just way off. But I'm pretty sure it's Mesmer. Mesmer, the Impaler. I believe that's what it was, right? Because everyone is impaled now. These look like. Margit, like the race or creature that Margit is. And I think they had some giants that were in the fro the uh the snowy region of Elden Ring, the first one. Wasn't wasn't that him that did that? Can't really remember. But you know, he got other people skewered out here too. So I that that might be a hint at I don't really keep up with people's lore and stuff. Let me just get that straight. I'm just kind of going off of what I'm seeing. But I do, I have been, you know, you do see around the whole world of Elden Ring that people are on spikes. I think Mesmer might have done that. To all of them. Give or take a couple. And so we see the trees sprouting from the husk of the other one. Right? Right? This is the this is the new tree, ain't it? Like right starting here and here. Right? This is the new tree. Okay. Hmm. And so kindly Mikula would abandon everything. I do remember I, I remember seeing those. I don't even know what they were for, really. His blinding strength. Even his fate. Okay. That's us? Oh. Oh, I did see that there was an update or something like that, that these are all tarnish, right? And that you can play up to like six people, right? Seven? 
Maybe let's do a head count. I think this is the last of it for a head count. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think I seen someone say it was like a seven player co-op or you could, I don't know, something like that, right? All right. Now analyzing this a little bit more. It's like they're praying to, this is Mikola, right? Or Mikola's doing. So they're praying to that. They got the shrouds. Okay. They're the shadow, the shadow of the Erd tree. Where's the veil coming from? How does the veil work? Is it, is it like a, how do you pronounce it? Like a ever jail? Like, you know, whenever you go into the circular, like gray thing, and then you, um, you interact with it and it switches you into like that other world. Is this, is this what's going on right now with the earth tree and the lands between? Is that what's going on? No, let me go back. Okay. All right. All right. We back on track. I don't, ooh, I forgot when it's coming out too, cause I just been, I just been playing, playing a little bit. I've been playing a little bit of Elden Ring just to see if I wanted to start with a new character or just go straight at it with the one that I got now. And I know I'm late to this, cause it is 5-29-2024 today. So we got like twenty, about twenty something days. Do I want to pre-order it? Pre-order to get an in-game bonus gesture ring of Mikola. Shout out to the Earth Tree Edition. Mm, do I want to get it on PC? Yes, I have to get it on PC. <laughs> it looks I was actually, bro. I was I was looking for an actual ring. Like like a talisman that you could use that'll help you out a little bit or just have some cool effect. But I really wasn't paying attention to the gesture. Cause uh that's funny. That's funny. And they use the slave too. Why are they using the slave, bruh? Like the slave is a character unlock rather than a, a starting. What else? Is it going to switch? It is going to switch. Okay. Mesmer the Impaler. Ah, yeah, I was right. Totally forgot. It came back. Don't know how. Um, Hardcover art book, 40 pages. Dude, I don't know if y'all saw the... uh. The hand of millennia? How much is that going for? Yeah, here it is. This is crazy. Look at this thing, bro. This is nuts. Look at the detail. Look at that. All the all the battle is gone through. Comes on a cool stand or like a little iron stand. I wonder how heavy it is. Does it have the weight? This is cool. 500, what is this, uh, pounds? No, that's not pounds. The euros? Um, How heavy is it? 12 pounds. A solid metal? Is it brass? No, it doesn't say. But yeah, I was I saw that like on Instagram or something. I thought that shit was nuts. I was like, let me get that. But now, okay, so we got the Mesmer, the Impaler, forty six centimeters. Uh, <laughs> understood nothing. Loved everything. I same boat. I was trying to break down everything, but I don't know. Like the video up, Bandai Namco Entertainment America. Thank you for creating. Elden Ring, because this is one of the best games I played in a long time. Like, they just keep coming out with shit games nowadays. They have, like, no low effort games. And I'm not saying that the developers don't know how to make a game. I understand that there are investors that push a timeline that they have to push out a product. And it's not a product that they want to release early. Like, a, like, a, uh, 
with all these play uh free to play games that come out and then they have all these updates because the game isn't finished yet so they say it's in like beta and then you play the whole beta for a whole year while they have time to fix it yeah that's another good marketing strategy for it to come out and then have you the product and have updates that come along but there are a lot of people that i know that don't want to deal with the crashes all the bugs whenever they could have been taken out with a little bit more time in development i respect the game and develop developing a development company way more when they will say like hey our game was hit with a delay it's probably going to take six months it's going to take eight even a year the fact that they're willing to come out and then say hey we don't want to put this game out in the market and then have y'all hate it and give you a headache and you spend more time trying to play it and it not crashing your computer or system what have you and just enjoy the game all the way through seamlessly rage at all the bosses that you can't beat instead of blaming it on the design of the game not working like people i've seen people complain about elden ring having like clunky mechanics and this is just a skill issue you're just bad at it this is why you have to keep playing look at look i got they got a thumbnail of kai sanat right here not kai sanat kai sanat this man he put in, uh, I think it was 160 hours into Elden Ring. I mean, it was a stream, right? So he went to, he went to, he had to get his sleep. But the fact of the matter is, the dude would get up morning to night or morning to morning and play the game, beat the boss. Mind you, he didn't go for a whole lot of side bosses, but he beat the game, and that's that's the that's accomplishment in his own. The two biggest accomplishments back to back would be beating the game and beating Melania. Like I saw, I watched him throughout the entire stream. I saw it from beginning to end, seeing him beat the game, seeing him beat Millennia and props to you, Kai, because this is it, not everybody can do it. That's facts. Not everybody can do it. Not a lot of people have the patience to do, especially with your character. You beat Millennia naked. Your character was naked, which is insane, because when anyone is struggling that much with Millennia, they'll usually summon somebody or summon uh you know so, uh what's it called like the in-game summon or even use magic the little pew pew sh so elden ring if you come out with the same type of energy that you had whenever this game released i promise you this game is about to hit off but i've never had a problem with any of the souls games personally uh dark souls 3 it's probably my favorite Dark Souls because I didn't really play too much of Dark Souls 2. I played it, didn't beat it, you know what I mean? But Dark Souls 3, oh my goodness, so good. Anyway, I'm excited for this game. Like, I never thought that I would be, you know, a Souls type of player. And the people who have never touched this game and just like watching it, it's not the same. Like, you, it is very enjoyable watching someone play it, but you'll enjoy it even more if you play it yourself and then see the struggles that they're going through because you could be like hey i could do better than that i could do better than that how is it they're still on this boss they're still on this boss like hearing that over and over and over again from people or seeing it in other people's chats you have no idea how hard it is if you've never played the game so just go ahead pick up the controller grab that mouse and keyboard i don't think that's much of a better idea in playing the game i know i'm yapping but whatever this is my video it's a fun I love I love Elden Ring and I'm passionate about the topic of Elden Ring, you know what I mean? Um play the game. Give it a try. And when I mean give it a try, I'm not saying finish the tutorial area and then see the tree sentinel, get your ass beat by him a couple times and then just quit. Don't do that, okay? If you need to, go get stronger, come back to the tree sentinel. He's an optional boss, but everyone likes to give him, you know, Everybody likes to give him a run for his money and take him out. You know what I mean? So after that, just you should be you should be good. If you could beat the tree sentinel right at the bat, right off the bat, whenever you come in, you will have no problem beating Elden Ring. I'm telling you. So, all right, y'all. We got until June twenty first, twenty twenty four. Oh man, I don't know if I want to like twenty four hour stream this shit or, you know, like. I don't know. I don't know if I can beat the game in straight 24 hours. The DLC. 
I, I know what they were saying about like your character like rolling over if you want to like pause your leveling if you think you're too high or I don't know if they'll let you cut your level in half. If I can cut my level in half, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna try to cut it. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be too easy because I'm probably coming in at like level 200, and I do have another account that's like level 40 something. Might do that, depending. But hey, I got a lot of I got all my weapons that I wanted. I got all the bosses that I had beat on my two hundred. You know what I mean? Didn't use magic. Just I just I magic just wasn't even for me. It wasn't even like people making that little stigma about magic. Magic just it wasn't even for me. You know? I would use like buffs and like incantations on my weapons and shit like grease and stuff. But magic just wasn't really my thing. But yeah. Ooh, I can't wait to play this, bro. It's gonna time is gonna fly and I'm gonna be on it. I'm going to be on it.